Well, m most of us are safe and away from the freezing temperatures. Emergency rooms remain busy helping those who have had weather-related accidents. Yeah, EMS services have received multiple calls from people slipping on ice and crashing their cars. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us now from the newsroom to explain what you can expect when calling for medical help. Earl. Adam, I spoke with Ascension Providence earlier this afternoon during a slow period of patients coming in, and they said the workload can change by the minute. We're actually picking up this evening a little bit, uh, and, and, and volumes are coming back up closer to, to normal. Uh, but uh, it's been a little slow yesterday evening and into the early parts of today. Ascension Providence Emergency Department Medical Director Dr. Jonathan Walker says the reasons for emergency room visits are across the board. Coming in is actually the sicker patients, so we're still seeing an awful lot of heart attacks and strokes and severe intestinal issues. Some respiratory illness, but for the most part, it's, it's sicker patients that are coming in right now. In weather-related incidents, including some patients falling indoors, Walker says they've had to treat contusions, strains, and diagnose hip fractures. Despite staff showing up to work in the sleet and freezing rain, Walker says the workload will only increase. Folks don't seek care when they sometimes need to uh, because of that. Uh, we usually have a fairly significant rebound in, in patients coming in. Uh, once the weather starts clearing up. A majority of the patients treated during the freeze have been discharged the same day. One thing Walker wants to remind those coming to the ER during extreme weather is to be patient. It's, it's not like the TV uh, medical shows uh, and uh, that things sometimes take some time, but we, uh, we do get everybody back as fast as we can and get them taken care of. To avoid taking a trip to the ER, Walker encourages everyone to be safe when walking outside and to be safe on the road. Live in the newsroom, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 24 News. Thanks.